Hey guys, it's Reenactment Day here, and I am with Brick, and we are in the trench again, and it is quite colder of weather right now, so we are just doing a quick update on how the trench is going, and like I said in the last video, I always say quick, but it ends up being like five minutes, but um, we're going to go over the trench, the condition of the trench, and he is in late war colder gear, I'm in earlier war colder gear, probably like 1942 ish he's in like 1945 -ish. training in england um battle of the bulge what was should have been standard issue uh no probably not even battle of the bulge probably just like fall weather yeah by the way let's get on to how the trench is doing <laughs> well we are in the trench as you can see leaves it doesn't exist now we got an amazon package of sandbags that are should probably hopefully be filled soon but um the sandbags up here are actually starting to rot as you can see right there which is sad but they're burlap and they're not gonna last too long but they're also very cheap the wonders of burlap also if you remember from a few videos ago that white thing is still up there I don't know what it is but it's something I don't want to touch it me neither you, you, you have gloves Hold on. All right, he doesn't want to touch it. All right. Now you might have seen this from a couple videos ago, or a long time ago, me attempting to make a 1903 out of wood. But right now, I have actually just started to buy bits and doodads for it. Uh, early style, like World War One style, 03 front band, a bayonet lug, and all that fun stuff. As you can see, it is one piece instead of two separate pieces. Um, and I have an early style of milled trigger guard. I got this stuff for a good price at an antique store. And as you, but on the bottom thing, you can see it is a trapdoor style. I don't know if that just means it's rare or not. I'm honestly, I'm not even sure if there was just a plated milled one. There probably was, but there's I have a trapdoor, uh, trapdoor one. I'll take that out when I have two free hands, but um, for now, 03. I'm attempting to make what Brick has more like the Garand that is, you know, just made out of chunks, a wooden receiver, <clears throat> and various stuff like that. I found out that on Sarko, I'm pretty sure, top handguards, brand new top handguards for a model 1903 are $13. The band, I'm pro the band, middle band is probably going to be about 15. The uh, D mill drill barrel is about 20 bucks. And if I want to make this an 03 A3, or if I want to make this an 03, I'd have to probably find a barrel band or uh, crudely make one. But um, they have 03 drill barrels with the barrel band, but those are currently out of stock. I hope they're back soon because I would certainly buy one butt plate so gotta get one and receiver probably just use that dummy one that you saw in the video pretty much make this like a training looking 03 by the way i'm going to show you the trigger guard real quick just gotta set up my tripod and i'll come back so as you can see right now it's just the normal 03 stock and it seems to be actually getting worse the crack in it so probably actually probably put a screw through it to keep it together since the glue isn't working and I can't think of anything else but right now I have the um, what is it the friggin trigger guard put on there with a rubber band put that out of the way now and there's a little lever right here you press that down you pull push this uh, back and the floor comes out you can see that's where a the spring for the magazine would go. You're on, gotta get this on camera right there. This little slit. And then it's just an empty hollow uh, magazine. And trigger guard. So that's something cool about it. Clicks into place. Pretty normal. Very cool. And when I'm done with it, you just shove it back in there. And throw the rubber band over it until further notice but it's going it is going all right actually we are 
little change of plans with the video. We are gonna do some quick cooking in the trench. See, we got my mess kit, my stainless steel mess kit. We got some spam bacon, which we had at the reenactment, and it was actually not that bad. Also, you pretty much just put a, make a, kind of like a sandwich with two crackers and some spam bacon, and it's not bad. But now it's time to see if it wasn't really that bad, or if we were just hungry. <laughs> we may have just been hungry. We might have just been hungry, but either way, we're going to find out. I also, okay. Yeah, right, we work are. Needs to happen here. Yes, like mess kits and stuff. Well, I need mine as a cook, as a prep surface. Yeah, you could also use this. <laughs> I'm just gonna use mine. All right. Put that down. This is actually very new looking. That's like why I'm not opposed to cooking with. <laughs> mine is has been used. This one is very nice, actually. Look at that. That is beautiful. 1945. Looks unissued. Can you get my fork and knife too? Jeez, just take your haversack off for goodness sake. I don't wanna, it's cool. Is that your repro knife? Yeah. Huh. Alright, thank you. Just throw them here. Yeah. Lost my leather sheath. I kinda remember that from the video. Like telling you guys that, but that was a long time ago. Original knife, 1941. Hmm, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it do. It tend to. So, um, probably gonna use, need to use a knife or something. Here, just use a bayonet. Well, you gotta poke a hole in the bottom so that it can slide up. All right, fair enough. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. Or you could just pull it out with a knife. Do that too. Oh, there it is. Told you. <laughs> you don't have to film this. Look at that bud. brick. And. We will actually come back when it is done being, well not done being cooked, but when it is cooking. Alright, as you can see we are starting to cook the bacon, or spam bacon, but you know, you know what I mean. Historical accuracy. Fire. We're just cooking that. There we go. Definitely is pretty chilly out. Oh yeah, it's cold. I put on my gloves, original. I agree you did. Would you get the top to my mess tin so I can put these in when they're done? Yeah. Go. I can make like a really cool looking like first person kind of video. I'm just doing things GI way. That'd be pretty cool first person. Yeah, you could just like strap it onto the helmet or something. Also, this thing has a gyroscopic feature, which, you know, well, not gyroscopic, but like, I when you shake it, it's not as bad as it would be. I forget what that's called. It's just auto stabilize. Stabilization, okay, auto stabilize, yeah, that. I forgot what it was called for a minute, but we figured it out. We are cooking on a captured Espit stove. Captured. I gotta get a mic for my GoPro, but that's expensive. <laughs> are you filming? Yes. Oh, okay. We are filming. Oh, I see you went and got your canteen too. Yeah, I figured I might get thirsty after some real salty spam. Fair enough. I did not film my canteen. You didn't? Nope. Eh, good no, thing. Good thing I got the bucket. <laughs> bucket of water and miscellaneous. Do not drink that water for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wouldn't be nice. So yes, cooking in the trench. I'll come back when it's all cooked. All right, spam bacon. Pretty good, not bad, not bad. You just take some saltines and kind of make a sandwich and then you're good. Let's see how they're cooking over here. Last little bit. Just put those on. It's not a full meal, but it's cooking in the trench. Now you can stop asking. <laughs> And um, honestly, this is prob this probably be a good meal for GI in the field. No, actually, GIs were fed incredibly well. You'd be surprised. Yeah, actually, fair enough. K rations. Maybe during the battle of the bulge, but during the battle of the bulge, they were running low. But K rations, they actually had a good amount in them. Not enough for like. That and if you were close enough to supply lines, you'd be eating fresh food, not rations. Yes, that too. Well, you just do that, and there you go. You got 
sandwich. Somewhat. All right, so just for the end of the video, we're gonna go over a brief little explanation of colder weather, early war, and later war. Out, we can go more into depth in another video, but just for now, brief one. As you can see, standard M1937 wool. Pants. I honestly don't think we have to go over all the designations yeah. this time. Right. Wool pants, wool shirt, gaiters, boots, M41 field jacket, because early war. We got a front seam fixed bail helmet. Front seam fixed bail, which is earlier war. We got you know, trigger finger mittens. This time we actually got a kidney bag, so it's like more 1942-ish. So kidney bag, I got a uh, steel cap or aluminum cap canteen with khaki. Everything is khaki colored. I got a T-handle shovel on the back. My mess kit is probably out, well it is out, so it's probably open. Um, and if you could just grab that real quick. Bayonet. What? Oh. oh, five bayonet. Pretty simple. Grab it. Grab it. I want to see it. Okay. All right, there we go. And the O5 bayonet. Love this thing, look at this thing. It's great. All right, and now we do later war. I will describe it. We got OD, more OD, web gear. You can see a lot of OD. He j Brick likes to be special and have a lot of OD items, but um, that's fine for later war. M43 jacket, this is an original. It is very nice, you have a front seam swivel bail helmet. Your thumbs are covering the swivels. Okay. Swivel bail. And you could either have double buckle boots or boots with gaiters, but we only have boots with gaiters. And it, probably in another video, I will show how the M43 has M43 pants, which are go over the wool pants. So just a brief explanation. Lightweight gas mask bag instead of this bulky thing. It, well, it would be bulky, but it's empty. Same gloves. Same gloves. Could wear a hat if I wanted to, but... Just like I had. And then a haversack, you have the M1 bayonet, the M43 folding shovel, and it's pretty much everything else is the same. And now we got to clean up the trench. So I'm going to end the video. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, um, and we'll see you guys later.